Is sugar accelerating aging your skin? The short answer is yes. If you want to know why and how and how to prevent it, watch the entire video because as you know, as always, I have a happy ending. All sugars that are not natural accelerate aging. That goes for canned sugar, fructose, corn syrup, and the list goes on and on. Keep in mind, there is about 60 different names for sugar because sugar had such a bad rap in the last 10 years that food companies came up with other names to describe sugars so they can hide it in plain sight. When you read the label and you look for sugar and it says like maple syrup, oh, there's no sugar in there. Perfect. No, maple syrup is sugar. It's just another name, a cover name. So watch out. I will add all the names in my in the description in the video so you can make smart choices next time you go shopping. All right, sugar is pretty much responsible for all chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, you know, it causes inflammation and and it causes like so many different things like dementia, you know, stroke and the list goes on, obesity. So sugar is not only bad for your skin, it's bad for your health. It eats you up internally. And that's why these days we have so many problems, so many problems in the United States because we consume sugar every single day. And a lot of times you don't even know it because it's hidden in plain sight. Question is, is sugar addictive? Okay, let me give you a little example here. There was a study. They had 20 mice locked up in a cage and they gave them sugar water. Here, they had 20 mice locked up in a cage with cocaine water. They let them in there for seven days and then they took them out, they put them back in one cage and they gave them both options. They could choose between the cocaine and the water. And guess what happened? Only two mice went for the cocaine water, the rest all went crazy for the sugar water. You might ask yourself now, well, how, is, how is that possible? Because sugar is very addictive. When you, when you take a, a scan and a person is doing cocaine and sugar, it lights up the same area in your frontal cortex, in your brain, than, than cocaine. So it lights up the same area. So sugar is just as addictive than cocaine. Now, the only difference is when you consume sugar, and it also depends on how long and how much sugar you consume, but usually after five to eight days, the withdrawal, you know, goes away. And by withdrawal with, with sugar, it's not like it's not like heroin, co cocaine, where you are like physically like really dependent on it. It's more like you know fatigue, moody, depression, you know, headaches, dizziness, stuff like that. So if you decide to stop eating sugar, you will notice after five to eight days, those withdrawals disappear. So yes, you can do it. Let's talk about how is sugar able to age you? Okay, so our skin is made out of collagen and elastins. And uh, every time you consume sugar, it starts cross-linking with proteins in your skin. And we start, when it starts cross-linking with proteins in your skin, that process is, is called advanced glycation end products. And what's happening is, you know, it breaks down collagen and your skin starts get rigid, saggy. You can get dark spots or like puffy eyes. And eventually that leads to deep wrinkles. That's how bad sugar is. It literally breaks down collagen in your skin and it can sit there for 15 years. Okay. So if you are a person that consumed sugar all your life, at least 30 to 50 grams a day, which is easy if you drink sodas, it could take you 15 years to reverse 
15 years. That's how long the sugar sits in the collagen and starts breaking down, you know, collagen and elastin. So think about that for a second. Good analogy. Okay. Unpeel a banana and put it on the table and watch what's going to happen in the next 24 to 48 hours. Do you know what's going to happen to the banana? Exactly. It turns brown. And why do you, why do you think it, it, it starts caramelizing instantly it turns, uh, you know, brown? It's because the sugars in the banana start cross-linking with the proteins and it breaks down their skin. And that's exactly what's happening. It's a good analogy, actually. That's actually exactly what's happening to our skin. We know the way a DNA looks like. There's like the DNA stripe and at the end of the DNA, we have those little caps. And those little caps are called telomere. And uh, part of the natural aging process is those telomeres getting shorter, you know, every year. And that's part of the aging process. And eventually when the telomeres are gone, the, in, in it, the DNA starts, you know, uh, fading away. And that's pretty, probably our physical death. So, and guess what? Sugar accelerates that, prosta, that, that process seven times faster than normal. So a person that consumes sugar every single day ages faster than a person that doesn't consume any sugar. Now, according studies, there hasn't been a clear answer yet because it's all kind of new. We don't know exactly how much sugar causes that process, but I think it's safe to say to stay away from sugar uh, at all times because it, again, it doesn't have no benefits and it's just as addictive as cocaine as we know. All right. So let's talk about what accelerates, you know, uh, aging, eating a poor diet. We know you put in the wrong fuel in your car. Guess what? It's falling apart. And it's the same happening to our body. Eating a lot of sugar. We just explained you why sugar breaks down elastin and collagen when it cross linkages. So yes, very bad. Uh, being depressed. Being depressed is a mental state that turns to a physical problem. You, you will never see a, a person that's depressed you know, that looks fresh and with tight skin. No, they are like down. Everything starts hanging down. They have like dark rings underneath the eyes. You know, they look like shit. And uh, so yes, that speeds up your aging your skin a lot. And then we got the yo-yo diet. The yo-yo diet is basically a diet where you like lose gain, lose gain. Perfect example is, you know, all the uh, professional competitors like bodybuilders and stuff. They go on a bulking diet and then they get ready for competition and the diet down to a single digit, you know, uh, body fat percentage, like six, seven percent. So the skin fills up and then goes back and that they and they do that, at, you know, quite a few times throughout the year. And that also obviously has a direct effect on aging your skin. Look at bodybuilders. I mean, look at them. The body looks young and great, but look at the bodybuilders that are like in, in their twenties. They, they look like they're in their like late thirties. Their face looks old because they have no fat in their face. So it always sucks it in. And then, you know, they take steroids and eat a lot of food and then it goes up again. And your skin, you know, your elastin, they can only go back, you know, back and forth so many times. I mean, they can go back endless, of course, but it will cause aging your skin. It causes wrinkles. It's kind of like when you take a plastic bag and you keep it, uh, keep it like, you know, oh, I actually have one here, look. So like this, right? So if that's the skin and it's nice and flat now, and then you keep it like rolling up like that, up like that, see? And now it has all those fine wrinkles and they are only getting worse and deeper from here on. So, and that's exactly what's happening if you know, yo-yo diet. 
Don't gain, lose, gain, lose, you know, it's either or. And then uh, certain medications, certain medications, you know, have a direct effect on collagen. It breaks down collagen. I, I can't name you any uh, medications. I'm not a doctor, so I, I'm not a specialist, but certain medications do that. And then uh, alcohol and caffeine. Uh, caffeine and alcohol, I mean, alcohol obviously has a negative effect on health uh, anyway, but also caffeine, this is like more like related if you drink too much caffeine or even at night. Um, I'm sure you know some people, they say, oh, I can drink coffee in the night, I go to sleep. Yeah, that might be true, but guess what? They're not going into a deep REM sleep. And in order for rejuvenation happening, you need to be in a deep REM sleep. And that's the only way how the skin in the body can rejuvenate. And then tanning beds, well, it's a no brainer, too much tanning, you know, breaks down collagen. Uh, also too much sunlight. And I'm not, saying no, I'm not saying no sun at all, just in moderation, you know, it helps. But if you get sunburned all the time to a point where it's like red and burned, and that is really bad for your skin because that dehydrates your skin. You know, it also uh, destroys the elastins, you know, in your, in your body, in your skin, I mean. And then of course, you're gonna get those dark spots. And you know, from there on, it just getting worse. Uh, smoking, genes and stress. Yes, um, here's the thing. When it comes to genes, I'm sure you notice that some people, even if, they, if they're not so healthy, they age much slower. And that's, you know, it's in your genes, like how your genes express, you know. So 70% uh, is genetically imprinted in how fast you age. But 30% is up to you and how you treat your body and how you take care of your skin. So 30% is up to you. That's quite a bit. So don't have the excuse that you have bad genes because there's 30% you can do about it. And I will tell you in a second what you can do about it. And then stress uh, directly correlates with, uh, with de depression, you know, also has a negative effect. Now, nutrition that speeds up aging, fried food, white bread, white sugar, processed meat, dairy, soda, and too much coffee, alcohol, cooking in high heat, fructose, and rice cake. All right, so what do they all have in common? All of them are high in glycemic index. Like, you know, fried, you know, fried food is supposed to like French fries and stuff like that. Besides the trans fat, that's really bad um, because it's like high hydrogenated, you know, uh, genetically engineered oil, which means it's like dead vegetable oil the body can use. But what they all have in common is a high glycemic index. There's all like hidden sugar in there. So anything that activates your insulin too much is, is basically considered a high glycemic index. Sugar is at 100. So white bread is right up there to like a 90. Uh, white sugar, 100. Processed meat, processed meat. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. Read the label. Processed meat in the United States has a lot of sugar. They literally add sugar in meat. I'm from Europe. I don't get it. We don't do that. You know, we don't add no freaking sugar in meat. It's disgusting. But they do to enhance, you know, the taste. And of course, when you eat meat, especially if it's like fat meat with sugar, that's the worst. And then dairy. You know, dairy is same, you know, milk has lactose, which is milk sugar, also high in glycemic index. Um, then soda, there's fucking soda loaded with sugar and a lot of coffee. Let, let's, let's, let's face it. A lot of coffee, people mix coffee with sugar. You know, some people use stevia, which I would recommend, but a lot of people don't. They just add sugar, 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 alcohol, you know, also uh, turns into sugar. Then cooking in high heat, you know, basically uh, it's kind of like, you know, with the, with the fried food, depending on how you cook it, but cooking in high heat, all your foods all the time, 
is also not good. You know, you should steam it or, you know, don't microwave it or eat like some raw food. You know, that's beneficial. And then fructose and rice cake. Fructose, you know, is basically uh, the sugar that comes in fruits. They also, depending on the fruit, of course, also high in glycemic index, except berries. And then rice cake, you know, which is made out of white rice for the most part, some are brown rice, but their glycemic index is also an 80-85. So, all these have high sugars. And you probably wouldn't even think about that, right? That all these have sugar. But guess what? You consume all that food every day and sugar on top of that? Well, that glycation process is taking place. It's breaking down your collagen and your elastin and it destroys your skin. Who would have known, huh? All right, but now let's have a happy ending because we were just talking about all the negatives. Now let me give you a happy ending. And how to prevent sugar damage. Like we said before, the bad news is once you have sugars cross-linking in your skin with collagen and elastin, it stays there for a long time. In fact, 15 years. So it's not something you can reverse overnight. That's the bad news. But the good news is you can increase water intake, you know, flush it out. Um, protect yourself from too much sun exposure. We talked about that. Some sun is, is good, it actually stimulates you know, collagen, but once you get sunburned, that is considered too much, and especially too frequently. If you, if you get burned, you know, all the time, yeah, that also like kills your elastins. And then cut back on sugar. St don't just cut back on sugar. Honestly, stay away from sugar. I, I, I never eat any sugar. And, and I think it started when I was like 12 years old. I was a little jubby and uh, I didn't eat much. And I asked my mom, I said, how is it possible that I keep gaining weight? I'm not even eating anything. And then she says, well, look at all the sodas you're drinking. You know, they have sugar, it has calories. And I was, and I was like, but it's liquid. So it has calories? I didn't even know back then. And then guess what I did? I cut soda from one day to the next and I only drank water and the weight dropped down. And supplement, you know, supplement with collagen. NR, NMN, which are our uh, NAD booster. All right, like, let me give you a little secret here. Uh, you can Google uh, David Sinclair from Australia He's the leading anti-aging scientist in the world. He is the one who invented Reversitrol. I hope I pronounced it right. And he also created NMN, which is nicodynamite minuclide, which is a single molecule that actually goes into your cell, turns into NAD, and you know, rejuvenates your cells. It's a NAD booster like NMN and NR, nicodynamite repos, are probably right now they're pretty new but they're the number one anti-aging uh, supplements on the market and of course if anything is like anti-aging and rejuvenates the cells it also rejuvenates your skin in fact you should see some of his studies you know with rats it was unbelievable he had two uh, two rats they were twins one took NMN and one didn't and the lifespan of a rat is only three years. So one looked really old and fuzzy and the other one looked, uh, looked like a baby, looked fresh. And they only gave that rat nicodynamine minuclide, which is quite amazing. But I don't wanna make this video too long because this is like a topic for an entire new video. But if, you wanna, if you're interested in researching that more, I can only recommend it. Uh, NAD booster, NMN uh, and NR, David Sinclair is uh, the leading scientist when it comes to that. Just Google it, look it up. I put it in the description box so you can actually see it. All right, and then um, load up on antioxidants, of course. And then sleep, because that's when the body rejuvenates. 
And when the body rejuvenates, of course, it rejuvenates everything, your skin too. Try a skin detox, yeah, like get a, get like a, like a detox, you know. There's like teas you can get online, skin detox. There's like uh, those masks, you know, to detox your, your face. There's many, there's many things, you know, online you can do to like really detox and give the skin what it needs. Uh, and then also exercise. Exercise is always good. See, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, was, it was even recommended when it comes to like skin, da uh, 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 skin damage through sugar. Exercise should always be the foundation of everything in your life. You know, to stay healthy, to lose weight, to look healthy, and also to have a healthy skin. And then we have uh, cleanse your skin. Yeah, use like skincare, you know, like skincare and like creams. There's a lot of creams out there. They're not cheap, you know, but I've, I'm using like creams, like collagen creams that actually stimulate collagen. And look, I mean, I'm in my 40s. Most people say I don't look like it. And that's because I always took care of myself, you know, and I use creams, Jesus, for the last 15 years. In fact, I started using like those eye creams when I was 21 years old, even though I didn't have any wrinkles, but I always did everything preventative, you know? I didn't want to wait till like, once I have the wrinkles because once you have it and it's hard to reverse it. So you always have to do everything before it gets to the point. And by the way, I'm also taking the NM, the, the NAD boosters, you know, the N, 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 NR and NMN, because you gotta see it like that. You know, I know I keep t uh, saying, how important that that stuff is imagine your cell your cell is your cell phone and the NAD booster is the charger for your cell phone so as long as you can charge your cell or your cell phone it will always shine and you know be turned on but once the battery runs out that's the end of it so an NAD booster, to make it simple to explain, is basically the charger for your phone. So the phone never dies or dies way slower. So look into that stuff. That really helps. All right. So I hope I didn't make this video too long. I did it as fast as I can. I hope this info was helpful. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Any questions, look at my description box and underneath the video. I have all the information in there, everything we talked about. Any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks.